Hello, Bamboo Studio users, Bamboo Lab P1P, P1S, X1C users, and others working with Bamboo Lab Studio, and I assume Orca Slicer on other printers. Today, I'm going to walk you through a very simple process of separating a model into two parts and adding a pin so that you can connect it after printing. This is great for models that are too big for your bed or models that you want to print in multiple colors using one color at a time. We are going to do this using a test doggo and we're going to cut its head off and then reattach it afterwards using a peg and a hole. While we are at it, we will print the head and the body in two separate colors individually to make a multicolor print using a single color printer such as a Bamboo Lab printer without an AMS. Here we have Mr. Doggo and he is complete one single model. We are going to click on him and we are going to click this icon right here that says cut or we are going to press C. C brings up this plane and this plane is where the cut is going to be. With this plane open, we are going to use these controls to adjust the plane. Since the cut is a little too high, I'm going to grab the yellow and we're going to position the plane down here below the chin, roughly around the neck. As you can see, cutting it this way, We'll leave some of his back attached to his head and we're still missing just a touch of his chin. So we will go ahead and angle this a little bit by clicking on the red arrow and tilting this plane just a touch like this, then grabbing the yellow and bringing it up. And then maybe we'll grab this just a little bit again. And now you can see we have a pretty good separation between his head and his body. Now that we have the plane where we want it, we are going to tell the slicer that we need connectors. Those connectors are simply pins and holes. We'll click on add connectors and you'll see the top half disappeared. We are now presented with some options for our connectors. I'm going to leave it on plug and I'm going to choose square. I prefer square as opposed to round. That way the orientation is locked in place rather than having the part be able to be swiveled. I will leave everything else as it is and we'll go ahead and click where we want that connector to be applied. You will see this connector is very small. This might be good for something like an arm or a leg or a foot, but not for this model. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and we're going to change its size. This is much more appropriate for a part of this size. You can move it around to position it how you want. And when you're okay with it, just leave it there and press confirm connectors. Now that you've pressed confirm connectors, you'll see that it kindly put your model back together and you have to trust it that the connector is actually inside this model right now because that connector is now embedded into the head itself. When you press perform cut, it will remove the space occupied by that connector, allowing you to have a peg and a hole to attach these two parts after your print. Let's go ahead and press perform cut. And bingo, there you have it, the head with the hole, the body with the peg. Now, since we want to print this in separate colors, we will go up here and click the plus next to add plate. We will click on this plate to unselect our model, click on our head and drag it over here to the plate. Once you have each part on its plate, you can click that plate and click auto arrange object to make sure the item is centered on the plate. With both objects centered on the plate, go ahead and slice them as you wish, and then print each individual part with the color filament of your choice. If you are using your AMS, you can go ahead and apply your colors to each one by choosing your model, right-clicking, change filament, choose brown, click on the head, right-click, change filament, choose white, and now I have a brown body and a white head. Let's go ahead and slice and dice. I will send brown doggo to Zoe and I will send white doggo to Penny. And away we go. Brown doggo with peg, white doggo head with hole. <laughs> Thank you. 
And there you go. This piece has a little peg. This piece has a little hole. I'm going to take a dab of E6000, stick it into the peg. and snap them together. There you have it. A two color, two part, snap together model done in Bamboo Studio. Hey.